Hey, this is Racquetball Tim. This is gameplay analysis number two for Ted. Hey, Ted, it was great having you back here in Las Vegas again. It was great to see how much uh, you've improved. This video is going to demonstrate your improvements as well as things you still need to work on. One of our focuses when you were first here uh, was your swing mechanics trying to get you to swing flat and level, finish uh, your backhand, start to finish, all the way through, nice and flat. So here you hit a, a good ceiling ball to my, my backhand. I go back up to the ceiling, and my ceiling ball is a little bit short, so it gives you a setup. I want you to look at your backhand mechanics here. You do a good job here of squaring up to the side wall, just like I showed you. You got your racket up. Watch the hip rotation. Contact point's a little high. We're going to see that later in the video, too. You don't want to contact the ball above your waist. You want to get it uh, below your knees. But look at that finish. I mean, you finished all the way through, flat and level. You rotated your hips, pivoted your back foot. Really nice job, and you killed that ball. Another one of my main focuses is shot selection. So let's look at your forehand mechanics along with shot selection here. There's a ceiling ball set up for you. You got your racket up. Your step looks good. You step in toward the front wall, leading with your elbow. Great follow through. Wrong shot though, Ted. I'm in front of you. When someone's in front of you, you pass or go ceiling. And if someone's behind you, that's when you pinch. You hit a pinch right to me. Give me a setup. I hit a little, little repinch there because you were behind me. So uh, mechanics looked excellent there, but take the right shot. Down the line pass would have been the right shot there. Ted, when you're hitting a drive Z to the backhand, if this happens where the ball hits the back wall first just like that and then the side wall, it becomes a setup for your opponent. You do a great job of getting in center court though. Look at you got your racket up, crossover step, and perfect rekill. Really nice job there. Ted, what makes you so easy to work with is that uh, you're very coachable. So that serve came off the back and I explained to you what happened. I'm telling you the angle of the ball and that you need to hit the ball. Uh, closer to the side wall on that particular Z. And that's exactly what you do here. You're in the box, line up for the same serve, get it closer to the side wall, a little too high, but you can work on that. That one caught the side wall and did what a Z serve is supposed to do, spin off the side wall and go directly at your opponent, making it very difficult for them to hit a return. I go to the ceiling, you take the right shot here, which is down the line, just missed it a little bit, and I was just lucky enough to get my racket on this and hit a little three wall boast. You can tell I've been playing a lot of squash because that's really a squash shot. Good adjustment, though. Part of being a good player is learning how to adjust uh, on the fly. So great job there. Sometimes racquetball is as simple as you know capitalizing on your opportunities. And when you miss your, your chance to capitalize, you give the other guy a chance. This serve comes way off the back. It comes out for a setup, and you decide to go ceiling rather than take an offensive shot. If you had adjusted your feet, moved forward a little bit, you could have taken a down-the-line down pass there and beat me uh, immediately. But you gave me another chance. Uh, I go down the line. I like the shot selection here, cross court. That's the right shot. You just missed it a little bit, though. That's another opportunity that you missed. I go down the line. When you're off balance and in trouble, you go to the ceiling. I like the shot selection. I don't like the execution. We have to work on your ceiling balls down the line. You're going to see it later in the video, too. Backhand ceiling ball down the line. You give me a chance, so I try to hit a wide angle pass here. It worked out pretty well. Turned into almost a wide angle pass, but it was good enough to win the rally. A couple of missed opportunities for you, giving me the chance to capitalize.
Ted, your drive serve improved quite a bit from our first lesson to our second. It's a pretty good drive serve here. It forced me up to the ceiling. If you had gotten back in position, you might have been able to take an offensive chance here, but you go for a ceiling ball, and there's that problem again. The ceiling ball down the line is just not happening right now. You need to practice that for hours. Uh, I missed my pinch, though. You're in position. You had a pretty good shot, and I got lucky here hitting a little squash shot again. Three well boast. Sorry about that. But I uh, work on those ceiling balls down the line. I run our racquetball leagues at Club Sport, and uh, we have a, a board with the standings on it, and I put on the board one time, uh, Tim's words of wisdom, hit the ball where they ain't. And that's pretty true in racquetball. You want to hit the ball where I'm not. So the right shot here is either a pinch to the right side or a cross court. If you pinch to the left side and leave it up, it comes right back to me. Pinch to the side that your opponent's on. Watch what happens. You pinch to the wrong side. Ball comes right back to me, and I hit a little dumper there in the front left corner. Uh, basic rule of racquetball, hit the ball where they're not. And when it comes to pinches, pinch to the side your opponent's on. I always like to show rallies that show people's potential. So you hit a good drive serve here. You got a potential to have a great drive serve. I had a really bad return. The right shot here is a pinch or a cross court. We just talked about this. Um, if you're going to take the cross court, though, Ted, you don't want to hit it waist high because the ball will come off the back wall. If you had let this ball drop, this rally would have been over. There is the high cross court that comes off the back. I hit a weak return. Now watch this, Ted. You got your racket up, square it up, bend your knees, let the ball drop. Perfect little pinch shot kill. There's your potential, Ted. Let the ball drop below your knees. You're going to be a great player. Simple as that. I missed my serve a little bit here. It comes off the side wall for a setup. And what do you do on a setup, Ted? Let the ball drop below your knees. In this video, look at that. Waist high comes off the back. I missed my pinch though. You're in great position to cover it. Down the line shot would have been great there, Ted. Uh, instead you hit a weak cross court. Comes off the back, give me an easy setup. I tried hitting you a couple of lob nicks here to see what you do with them. You want to cut those off before they get to the side wall. That first one you almost tried to, but you kind of backed out a little bit. They do take some getting used to. Second one here, you do a much better job of getting to it. You just miss the ball, though. But that's how you return it, just like you did. It's a very high-level serve. You see a pros, the pros hit it quite a bit, actually. On the third serve here, I hit a half lob. You do a great job of cutting this one off and going cross court. Stay aggressive on those serves. You'll get better. You just got to practice those returns over and over and over again. Earlier in the video, I showed you how to hit the hard drive Z to the backhand. I told you to get the ball close to the side wall so that it hits the, the back side wall and spins. You do not want the serve to hit the back wall. Now the way to return it, first of all, is to not guess. You guess to the right, see that? And you want to return it right there before it hits the side wall. Because you guessed, it cost you valuable time. And that ball just hit the side wall and came straight out. No chance to return it. Kind of beating a dead horse here, Ted, but um, I guess I want to show you the value of a, a ceiling ball down the line because you tend to go cross court on these a lot. Um, that's my forehand. Stay away from it. Do not touch. Went to my forehand, gave me an easy setup. You got to get the ceiling ball down the line, make that 
a staple in your game. People who know me at the club know that when I first step on the court for warm-ups, uh, I hit ceiling balls down the line, backhand side, over and over and over again. And then I go to the forehand side and hit ceiling balls. And that usually uh, is for five to ten minutes before I hit any other shot. I want to get the blood flowing, I want to uh, loosen up my muscles, and I also want to work on that shot because I know the value of a ceiling ball down the line in racquetball. There you see another chance for you to go ceiling to the backhand and you try to go cross court. You miss the ceiling completely, give me an easy setup. There's a few things I like about this rally, Ted. This is a half lob junk serve to your backhand. You take an aggressive shot here right down the line. The better you get at your down the lines, the closer you're going to hit them to the sidewall and the harder you're going to hit them. Um, you do a great job covering my cross court there and you go down the line. I barely save it off the back. The right shot here is a pinch or reverse pinch. I'm behind you. Either side will work fine. You go for the reverse pinch, get a little fortunate bounce there. But you know what? You took the right shot, so you're going to win the rally most of the time. Great job. I figured we'd finish up the video by showing a great rally by you. Starts off with a good serve here. Forced me to the ceiling. And I missed my ceiling ball. Ted, you got your racket up. Look at this. You're squared up to the sidewall. The right shot's down the line, but you go for the pinch. I barely get to it and flick it up to the ceiling. You already know what I'm going to say here. Backhand ceiling ball down the line. But there's the cross court ceiling ball to my forehand. Comes off the back for a setup. Look, look at you though, right in center court, anticipating my shot a little bit there. You go down the line, I go back to the ceiling to your back end. You're squared up, your racket's up, down the line's the right shot. I think you actually tried to go down the line, you missed it a little bit though. Got a fortunate bounce, I barely saved this off the back. Look at you, center court, perfect little shot there to end it. Beautiful job. Ted, it's great working with you because you're a student of the game like I am and you love the game like I do. I'm looking forward to your next visit in a couple months. Everybody else, thanks for watching, and as always, learn more at howtoplayracketball.org.